can see we're trying out this new Hobie Wing 880 speed controller right there. Let me focus on that. That's the speed controller. I just have it temporarily connected to a small LiPo battery, 12 volt. And I have it paired up with this uh, skateboard speed controller or skateboard controller, hand controller. So it's wireless, so let's check it out. Have it plugged into our trolling motor right there. And then take a sample. Make sure it works. Simple connection, positive, positive, negative, negative. There you go. Okay, so I've got a move. Okay. Took the motor. There she is. Works. So that's remote. Remote controller for our trolling motor using a skateboard controller ESC works right there that's forward and it has reverse too there it is see reverse hey there good morning guys so Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to introduce you a little modification that we did for the trolling motor. So, see here. So before we uh, mainly power our trolling motor with the PWM, so we took out the head of the uh, trolling motor and took the wires from it and installed it with our PWM. But now we're going to try something different. This is a, an ESC, electronic speed controller. So simple wiring. This end is the part that goes into the battery. Okay, so I'm using an SA, SAE connector right there. You can see. And this end goes into the uh, motor. So. We have this paired up with our skateboard controller. Simple remote. Make it wireless. Okay? So just forward and reverse. Forward and reverse. Alright, so just gonna try and hook it up, see if it works. I'm planning to mount this on the board that'll uh, install into my crate. So let's power it on. There it is, you can see. We got the lights, so it's working. And we're power on the remote. There you can see. Constant green, that means it's paired up with our ESC. Show you right there. Alright, so show you right there our electronic speed controller powered up. And you see the uh, fan rotating right there. And uh, sync to our skateboard controller. So now we're going to connect this end, the other end, into the trolling motor. right there so let's uh, go ahead and move the camera in the back 
to show that our system is working. Here's the speed controller. Now we're gonna move on to the back. The controlling motor base. Our trolling motor. Get a little wide angle. There it is. And like I said, we got this paired up with our skateboard remote. So press right there. Oh, power's on. Got some good power. And reverse. Wow. Pulling a lot of power there. So this remote has uh, um, two levels of uh, power output. So this is the high, and then when you switch over, that's the low. You can see there's less power output on the low. Reverse, beautiful, it's working. And then when we switch to high, right there, you can see And you can tell there's a big difference there. So there it is, our simple uh, remote setup. And we can click this in our vest when we're trolling. And, you know, get remote control to our trolling motor. Awesome. All right, let's power down. All right, just to show you, we got power right there. Confirmation on the blue light. Got our controller ready right here. So confirmation right here, we got power. Then we have to connect the motor end to the motor, like so. There it is. Okay. And we have to turn on our remote. All right, it's synced up. Solid green light. Solid red light right there. Let's close up the box. Make sure we got enough air in there. Circulating through. Yep. Confirmation. And then we can close our crate. Connections in there. Everything protected from the element. Then, gonna move the camera so you can see the motor running. All right, you can see right there, let's move our tools. All right, so you can see the motor right here, and our remote. So, there it is, pulling forward, and reverse, beauty. And put it on high power. You can hear right there. Full power. Reverse is uh, pulling more. I might have to reprogram this uh, controller to give it more, uh, what do you call this, more bias. Uh, on the forward um, controller, give it more power there. It can be programmable, so we'll have to do that. But it works. Have our remote. So that's our other option other than the PWM, electronic speed controller, for remote.
programming and control of your trolling motor. That is a beauty. It works. Love it when a plan comes to fruition. All right, let's shut it off.